Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and another what's in the box. Now this week I've been on yet another spending spree, but the item I was hoping to show in this week's episode hasn't turned up yet, and that is the annual commemorative coin set. Now I ordered mine via change checker, so they were going to be coming in those blue cards, which I, uh, I do extract the coin from that and put them into flips, and then they go into a Big Daddy album, but as yet, still haven't turned up. I've had an email to say they were dispatched, and I know a few other people have received theirs. Uh, but rather than wait and wait and never turn up, I thought I'd better go ahead and record some of the other bits that I've been buying this week. So the first one, now you will have seen a similar coin um, in a previous episode. Um, and this is the 1960 commemorative crown that was... Uh, done for the British Exhibition in New York. Now, the beauty of this coin is there was only a mintage of 1,024,000. So it is very, very low mintage. We've got the Mary Gillick portrait on the obverse. Now, there's 18,000 of these coins sold at the British um, Exhibition stand in New York, but they weren't actually minted in New York. They were minted at Tower Hill, London, and then transported across to the exhibition. Uh, but you could do, uh, I suppose, a, a, a strike your own, because <laughs> there was sort of commemorative medals in the shape of a crown that were actually struck at the stand to commemorate the event as well. So we have the designers of um, Edgar Fuller and Cecil Thomas, Now, this coin was also used for the uh, 1953 coronation. Um, obviously, the, the only difference being is the date on the bottom, as you can see, 1953. And that one's got 1960. And uh, the other difference is coin on horseback. Uh, this was done by John Bergdahl, I believe. So, anyway, the cost of this coin, believe it or not, was only £3.99, and that was including postage. Now, I know that we are going for a little bit more, but the reason I went and got this is that I hope to do a giveaway in uh, sometime in the future that will include this coin. And then uh, we've got the uh, Death of Winston Churchill crown. We've got the... Silver Jubilee, the Queen Mother's 80th, the Prince Charles and Diana Spencer wedding. So there's actually four there. This one, five. We've got the Coronation Crown, which is six. Uh, now, this one here is a bit torn, but I do have a better condition one somewhere. Um, and also, the, the seventh one is the um, wedding Jubilee of 1972 which um, I do have quite a few of as well so keep your eyes peeled um, the only thing I'm hoping to do is to increase the sub count now I don't uh, do this often enough uh, and I've been reminded on many occasions but please hit the like button subscribe to the channel now as I st as it stands I think I'm on 690 I am hoping to try and get a thousand sometime this year um, but obviously, if we don't get enough subscri subscribers, then the uh, giveaway won't go ahead. So anyway, that's the first thing that I've received this week. And I'll just put that up there. All right, I've had to put a bit extra lighting on for the next item, uh, which hopefully you would have seen in one of 10 Bob's videos a little while back. Now, I did try to buy the item uh, when I got an email from uh, Change Checker to say it was available, but when I went onto the site, whether the site hadn't been updated at the time, I don't know, but I couldn't find it anywhere. But it was only when I saw 10 Bob's video it reminded us to go back on, and sure enough, it was there. And that was the 50 pence collection of the Treasures of Town Carmoon. So there's five coins in this set that all have 
the portrait of King Charles, which was done by Glyn Davies and not by Martin Jennings, who's been doing the annual commemorative sets for the UK. So it's from Isle of Man. The diameter is 27.3 millimetres, weight 8 grams, metal, cupid and nickel, and the reverse designer for all five coins is Joe Cummings, and as, as I've just mentioned, obverse by Glyn Davies. So inside the front cover, we've got a bit of information about the treasures of Tutankhamun, which if you want to pause the video, you can read that at your leisure. But what I can't fathom out is this is supposed to be uh, 100 years of the tomb being discovered, as it, as it says there, in 1922. But um, all the coins are dated 2023. Now, Church Checker, in their wisdom, were sort of uh, going head over heels saying that, oh, it's a, it's a triple dated coin. But all right, we've got 1922 there. 2022 there and obviously the obverse with 2023 but it isn't new because the 40 years of the 50p set in 2009 which i believe is only available in a proof set and then of course we've had the 2019 reissue coins there was a few coins in each of those sets that had uh, three dates on um, i suppose one of them was the battle of hastings which had the 1066, 2016, and obviously the 2019. Or so it's uh, it's not new. So I don't know why they were sort of falling over themselves to show that. Anyway, so what we've got for here, we've got the Anubis Shrine. Now uh, this uh, statue of Anubis is uh, in the. Portrayal of a jackal. If you read that little bit on the other side, it does actually say Nobis is the god of death. Now, the Earl of Carnarvon, who was the patron of the excavation, he actually died while the excavation work was going ahead. And that led to theories that the tomb was actually cursed. But I believe there was a statue of this uh, in the ceiling of the shrine. Uh, moving across, we've got the name pendant. We've got like, like a scarab beetle. And again, the... Uh, Information on the other side does actually say it's an ornate necklace in gold with a scarab beetle in which the hieroglyphics spell out Tutankhamun's throne name. Uh, bottom left, we've got the torso of Tutankhamun. This was uh, apparently a painted wooden model of the king. Um, to the right we've got the corslet now apparently fragments of this were found throughout the antechamber of the tomb and apparently it was must have been worn during uh, state ceremonies by the king and of course it's like a, an ornate necklace And last but not least, probably the best known work of art in the world, the Tutankhamun Death Mask. And this was actually done in gold. It's a prominent symbol of ancient Egypt and it's been depicted on many Egyptian coinage in the past and maybe in years to come as well. So anyway, that uh, set, as I said, from uh, Change Checker, I was very, very pleased to get hold of, and uh, just glad I watched Ten Bob's video to remind us to go back and get it. Uh, right now, the last thing I've been getting, um, I may need to put my uh, snooker gloves on for.
<laughs> right, just a bit of daftness. Um, right, so these coins I got uh, were from a gentleman in the Isle of Man. The coins are all double-headed, and I will explain that, uh, the reason that in a second. Um, and they're from the year 2021. They were from a sale bag, so I would class them as almost uncirculated. And they celebrate the Queen's 95th birthday. Now, there's six coins in total. Portraits from supposedly the 1950s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s and 2000. So this one here would have been from the 1960s. Now the portraits of each one have been done by Luigi Badia on the reverse. And uh, of course we've got Jodie Clark's portrait on the obverse. So as I said, that one should be the 1960s. I'm going to have to uh, work through them to see which one is which. Well, that's a Jodie Clark. I've got that upside down. Um, uh, now this one. I think that one is from the 1980s. So, so that's uh, the 1980s. Not used to wearing gloves, and these uh, are far too small. That, actually, that could be nineteen, could be the nineteen nineties version. That one. Definitely the 1970s. So we're left with the 60s, sorry, a 50s, and the 2000. So that one is definitely the younger version. And the camera's not really doing it justice there, um, but you can see the initials. Of uh, the designer there, LB. That one's definitely the younger version, 1950s. So, last but not least, this one should be from 2000. So apparently the uh, the portrait has been like aged over time. Now uh, that one there apparently isn't even shown up on New Misty yet, um, but it is shown up on one of my coin apps. However, the same coin app does not have the twenty twenty one. 50 pences from the Isle of Man, which is a bit unusual. Um, but going on those coins at the bottom, uh, this 50 pence guide, I did actually buy these six for £15, free delivery. So if you work it out, it's about £2.50 a coin, which I think is very, very reasonable for an Isle of Man coin. But this 50 pence guide states that uh, each coin on a circulated version is worth between four and 
five pound. So I think it's a win-win situation there. As well as that, on New Mister, I can't find it um, as the circulated coin. I can only find it as a brilliant uncirculated, which these aren't because they actually have come from uh, sealed bags. So that's it for today's What's in the Box. Let me know, have you actually got any of these coins? Which is your favourite from today? So until the next time, keep on hunting, enjoy yourself, and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.